Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the Urban Sketching Set from Schminka. This is a nice little set that Schminka put together, featuring a small tin with six half pans, a small Hanemuel sketchbook, and a travel Da Vinci brush. It is a very small bundle and it doesn't look like much, but it still has great paints and a nice brand for the travel brush. The sketchbook is from the zigzag range, meaning that it's made with one long page that is folded over accordion style and is held close with an elastic band. They don't clearly mention what the paper is made from. Whenever it is not specified that the paper is cotton, we can assume that it's cellulose. The paper is 140 pound or 300 GSM, 18 pages in A6 format. A6 is about 4.1 by 5.8 inches. The brush follows the Da Vinci travel model where you unscrew the tip from the handle and can store it within the same handle. The point seems to be synthetic hair. Again, since they didn't mention it being natural hair, we can assume that it's synthetic. I checked online using the brush's range number and found that this brush is part of the Cosmotop Spin range. The paints come in a plain metal tin with the Schminke logo stamped on the cover. The tin is smaller than your regular mint tin, it is less high and has a smaller footprint as well. Inside the tin we have adhesive magnets, six watercolor half pans and two empty full pans. Inside the cover of the tin we can see that they left the metal its natural color, they didn't put any kind of white coating or surface to help mix colors. The half pans are the standard item. They have a paper wrapper with all the paint info on it, and then a paper and foil wrapper around the paint and pan. The pans have the paint number on them, but nothing else, so I add the paint's name and pigment composition straight on the pan. I also added the adhesive magnet on the back. The set comes with 10 small magnets, so I figured that each half pan gets one and the full pan get two for more stability. The magnets are not overly strong, but they are strong enough to do the job. The six colors in this set are Quinacridone Gold Hue, Geranium Red, Ultramarine Finest, Permanent Green Olive, Burnt Umber, and Payne's Grey Bluish. I also painted a color mixing chart. I was curious to see what kind of colors are available from this selection. It's mostly muted colors. Personally, the mix of quinacridone gold and geranium red is the only one that I feel is sort of vibrant.
I set out to paint my demo painting. It ended up being much more of a struggle than I initially thought. I am not entirely happy with the result, the colors I use don't feel right to me. That aside, the paints be wet super well and are easy to use and mix together. The tiny palette and empty pans are not bad for mixing. I am not sure if the empty pans are there to put water in them or for mixing, but knowing myself I would prefer to use them for mixing. The only thing that was a bit annoying to me is that the brush doesn't carry a lot of water, so my usual technique of using it to carry water to the palette didn't work very well. The brush is very nice on its own though, it has a nice point. I did not use the zigzag sketchbook for this review, and I apologize if that makes the review less informative. It's a bit of an intimidating format, and I feel like I need to think about it some more before I'm ready to paint in it. Instead, I used a piece of Arches Gold Press Paper for this demo. Overall, I think this is a really nice travel set with a super minimal footprint. It can easily be tucked into a pencil case or a bag. I love the color selection, even if it stumps me a bit. I'm also glad they put Burnt Umber and Ultramarine Finest in this set, as that means there's finally a Schmincke set with a PBR7 and PBR29 combo. I quite like the brush too, it's a good size, a good weight, and it looks sturdy enough for travel. What do you think of this set? Are those colors you would have put together? Let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye bye.